A new JCPS audit reveals what led up to the busing disaster on the first day of school. As WDRB's Valerie Chin explains, this comes a day before the school board is expected to make a big decision on cutting buses for thousands of students. The Jefferson County Board of Education requested an audit on what happened on the first day of school. Now the study is out and it's nearly 250 pages. It was chaos, late buses, and some students not getting home until 9 p.m. on the first day of school. But how did this happen? What went wrong? What we failed to do was to change our systems of support and to ensure that buses and routes were always moving forward. You know, we failed to provide the supports to our bus drivers they needed. We failed to provide the supports to our schools that they needed. You know, when we are this thin, when it comes to our routes, we can't afford to have significant delays in the system. Back in August, the district said it also identified four areas of operational breakdowns, including inefficiencies with bus stop additions and its impact on routing adjustments, a lack of contingency plans for bus depots, an antiquated system and lack of good communication. This JCPS transportation audit was just released. Even though the superintendent and officials talked about the issues on the first day, this audit studied it even more. Prismatic Services interviewed school board members, completed more than 100 interviews, mostly with JCPS staff, and visited 32 schools. Prismatic says project limitations included staff with concerns about confidentiality and retaliation for sharing information, and the number of interviewees expressing these types of concerns was higher than usual. Overall, Prismatic found AlphaRoute, the routing software JCPS used, was to blame. Prismatic says AR had some unsafe bus stops. Essential stops, such as daycare locations and before and after school stops, were eliminated. And the list goes on. Prismatic is also recommending reworking routes that AlphaRoute made, create more effective communications processes around routing, adopt an integrated routing, GPS, and camera system, and evaluate the potential for implementing greater depot use. On Tuesday, the JCPS Board of Education is expected to vote on a plan that could potentially cut transportation for all students attending magnet or traditional schools. JCPS says that's about 14,000 students. The audit is also added to the materials that the board members will be looking at. Valerie Chen, WDRB News.